just-in-time manufacturing, where the Twitter production system is a method of production where components are made and delivered to the main assembly line as and when they are needed. Many companies use this kind of system, for example, Dell, Mini and McDonald's. So, how does this system work? The system allows the minimum inventory levels to be set and the new stock is only ordered in when these levels have been reached. This saves space in the warehouse as there is no overstocking of components or items which lead to bigger profits. The one major flaw, this system relies on the accuracy of demand forecast if the unexpected rise or fall of demand could cause problems with the storage and manufacturing process. Another issue is if natural, natural disasters occur and it cuts off a factory or con uh, cuts contact between it, all suppliers halt uh, the production almost immediately. This causes major issues as the whole manufacturing process stops. It also allows for a higher level of user interaction in the product. For example, many use this system in their cars. It's the reason why they have so many customization options. So, how does it work? To give you an example of how this system works in industry, I have created a PowerPoint explaining the process. Firstly, we have our dealership and your manufacturing and storage warehouses. A customer visits dealership, orders their car, with the customization options they choose. The dealership then sends this information to the main assembly line, who then process the information and send off requests for the parts. The warehouse then sends back the chassis in this case to the main assembly line then the next part ordered what is the body sent in with all the customization and color choices applied and delivered to the line the parts like carpet seats and miscellaneous items like that then get delivered to the main assembly line and fixed to the car as these parts are being installed the dashboard is being constructed with all the customers customizations in separate factory for example clock options and dash colors then it's then sent back to the assembly line when it is needed the process continues until the car is completed and it is finally sent off to the dealership for delivery to the customer so is there any moral social and economic issues with this system if the main company goes bust it messes up all the other companies that business stops immediately from also the main company can run up the prices causing issues with the lower uh, companies making them go bust or lose all profits but it also allows better customer satisfaction because it allows companies to serve their customers faster and more efficiently greater control over the entire manufacturing process makes it easier and quicker to respond to the changing needs of the customers also for example computer companies can quickly update a product hardware and reduce the number of unsold and outdated items. It also allows for less waste products as when the companies use the traditional method of inventory management they can end up with pallets of unused and unwanted items. This also provides the company with a dedicated workforce as due to the system's focus on achieving targets, deadlines, quality and so on. Staff are therefore kept motivated by the goals targets and even reward systems that may be put in place to ensure that they continuously strive to effectively improve in all aspects of their work. Workers are also multi-skilled. In order to meet the requirements of JIT manufacturing, workers have to be trained and to be flexible enough to have the skills to undertake duties that may be in areas other than their usual workstation. This means that there are training costs, but having such a flexible workforce can be greatly desirable for the company. So in conclusion, this system saves thousands of pounds a day for a company due to the reduced waste and less storage space needed. Total Quality Management, or TQM, was a method mostly developed by William Edward Stemmin, who was an American engineer and management consultant. 
He was key in helping rebuild Japanese infrastructure after World War II. It's a process where every stage of manufacturing can be assessed closely and the ideas of those who work closely with certain aspects can be changed. There's a continuous feedback loop that is constantly improving the efficiency of the There are four main stages to the Denim cycle, which is also known as the PDCA cycle. First, there's plan, where you design or revise an original business process to improve the results. And then do, where you implement the plan and test its performance. Check, where you assess the measurements and report the results to decision makers. And finally, act, where the decision makers themselves decide on the changes they need to make to improve the processes for the future. There are four main stages to the Deming cycle, which is also known as the PDCA cycle. First, there's plan, where you design or revise an original business process to improve the results. And then do, where you implement the plan and test its performance. Check, where you assess the measurements and report the results to decision makers. And finally, act, where the decision makers themselves decide on the changes they need to make to improve the processes for the future. The TQM method isn't designed to specifically address a certain industry. It can be used for many different processes, but it's mostly used for manufacturing and engineering. It's also used in food industry and hospitality industry as well, because it's not only there to improve the product quality, but customer satisfaction. Companies who implement this process are constantly seeking improvement of its organisation, products and services. These checks and potential improvements are seen throughout companies' manufacturing processes. From the delivery of the resources to the manufacturers, all the way to the final delivery of the final product to the customer. The method of TQM not only focuses on quality, but heavily on the customer. It can be used to get constructive criticism from the customers to improve the company for themselves. Commonly used for large scale companies with many stages of development and manufacturing, as there's so many different staff and different sections of the manufacturing process, it's hard to keep track of where improvements need to be made. It's not worthwhile in a small practice where mistakes and improvements can be spotted easily as there's no need for the TQM method. There are also specialist staff that are dedicated to speaking to these specialist staff dedicated to speaking to. Yeah. There are specialist staff dedicated to speaking to people from each specific section of the manufacturing process. This is where they have the chance to speak freely about their operation and notify these workers of any improvements that need to be made to improve the overall function of the manufacturing process. There also needs to be a level of trust between them so they feel freely to express their concerns. Total quality management is a proven way to improve the product quality, staff morale and customer satisfaction, as well as reducing costs. It is used in some form in most companies across the world today.